Hey, Cool Gray, it's Friday night, dinner time, and Mr. Cool Gray and I have decided that we're going to try a recipe for the very first time. We're just experimenting in the kitchen together because that's what happens in this household on Friday nights. So we are going to make a Milk Street recipe. It's a pasta dish that's supposed to be super simple, and it has lemons and anchovies and capers and things in it that you probably think you don't like but when it all comes together we're expecting delicious so let me show you the ingredients and we're just gonna take you along with us this is the most casual lee i've ever done a video we're just gonna turn on the iphone and let it show you what what's happening as it happens live so here are the ingredients say hi mr cool gray hi mr cool gray okay ingredients we are using our favorite pasta, Dreamfields, because of the low carb quality to it. I've talked about that before. We're gonna need a little bit of olive oil. Our pasta water is boiling and we're going to need a skillet. Those are our two pieces of kitchen equipment. Over here, we've got six cloves of fresh garlic, thinly sliced. We've got, well, we're supposed to have a little bit more red pepper flakes than that, but I'm a heat wimp and Mr. Cool Gray goes easy on me. These are some chopped capers and these are some minced drained anchovies. They were anchovies in olive oil, which I drained. Now, I like to say that I don't like either one of these ingredients, but I tend to like them when they're in recipes. So uh, I'm expecting great things. Those are gonna really make up our sauce along with some reserved pasta water. And then when we finish the pasta in that sauce and then take it off the heat, we're going to add these ingredients. This is some of the caper uh, brine that we've reserved. This is some lemon juice and lemon zest and some fresh chopped parsley. And then uh, after we've mixed that all together and put it in our serving dishes, we're going to top it off with some fresh grated Parmesan. What kind of Parmesan did we use? That's Parmesan or Reggiano. Mm, the best. Okay, so we're just gonna take you along on the ride. The water's gonna boil. We're gonna cook our pasta. What did the directions say about that, honey? Uh, almost done. Cook it till it's almost done. Mm -hmm. Then you finish it in the sauce. Okay, and we're gonna reserve two cups, I think? Two cups of pasta water. Of pasta water for our sauce. All right, yes. so we'll come back when we're ready to put it all together. So pasta's boiling, oil is heating in the pan. What's the timer for? Pasta. Oh, it's for the pasta. Okay, I said this was gonna be super casual, and we're about to start making our sauce. It's just a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. And in goes our six cloves of thinly sliced garlic. Wow, that's gonna be an amazing sauce texture-wise. And in go our anchovies. I wanna say ew. <laughs> our red pepper flakes. And our capers. Do we add salt and pepper or anything like that? Or? I told you. Okay. Okay, so what are our instructions from here? Just uh, cook this about five minutes till the garlic is brown. And then we will be adding the pasta and the pasta cooking water to make a sauce. We're just gonna go ahead and saute that for a little while. Yep. We're looking for brown. Yeah, I think golden. the recipe said golden. Golden. Yeah, golden. Okay. Let's go. Musical. You're so musical <laughs> with the wooden spoon. Okay, so we need to reserve two cups of pasta water before we drain our pasta. This is boiling water, so we're trying to be careful. And when I, I say we, I mean you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping a safe distance. All right, there's our two cups. And then we can drain our pasta uh, and add it to the sauce. Is it ready to go right in or do we have something else to do? Yeah, we need to uh, give this a couple more minutes okay. for, for it to be golden. Actually, the fragrance is kind of amazing, mostly garlicky, yep. but the anchovy is giving it um, a very nice flavor. Let me give that a little stir for you. Being nearly golden. I'm not as musical as you. 
Huh. All right, we've achieved golden. So in goes our pasta water. And this is going to thicken the sauce and it's also gonna help enhance the flavors. That's what the recipe tells us. And again, you know, this is our first time. And uh, to this sauce, we're gonna go ahead and add our cooked pasta. And it's gonna cook right in the sauce for the additional two minutes. We cooked it till uh, two minutes less than what the package directions say. The recipe says to cook it a little further than that, but because we're using dream fields and the cooking time is crucial to that low carb factor, it's all magic. You should look it up and you'll learn about it. We're gonna give it just the two minutes to make sure that it doesn't revert to that full carb quality. I'm sorry, there's a little bit of shadowing here because we didn't set up the lights the way I normally do. We did this so spur of the moment. So the pasta cooks in the sauce for about two minutes and then we'll come right back. Okay, the pasta's been cooking in the sauce for two minutes. We've taken it off the heat and now we're gonna add our lemon zest. And that's our caper brine. Our lemon juice. This is probably gonna have a nice lemony snap to it. Mm -hmm. And our fresh parsley. Ooh, that's pretty. We're gonna give that a little stir. tasted for salt, although the recipe suggests it, but with the capers, caper brine, anchovies, we think this is going to be sufficiently salty. We'll add salt at the table if we feel we need to. And we are ready to plate as soon as we stir that pepper in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Taste test. Okay, we're ready for our taste test. This is our first time making the recipe, our first time tasting the recipe. He's a spoon twirler. I'm an in the bowl twirler. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Burst of lemon. Yeah. And the parsley are the first things that I taste. Mmm. The sauce is, um, relatively thin but the pasta water thickens it up mm, nice it's actually sort of integrated it's not like an overly saucy pasta it's just a super flavorful mm. pasta all those ingredients you thought you didn't like they just blend together beautifully to yeah. make a lovely flavor yeah yeah what do you, you think if you didn't tell people no one would know there's anchovies in this yeah you'll have to excuse me i'm going to take another taste right <laughs> now. you can talk some more about it if you want no i'm going to eat I don't think it needs any more salt. No. I'm glad we did not omit the fresh parsley, which you were considering doing. Mm -hmm. We did use a little bit less parsley than the recipe called for. The Parmesan cheese is the perfect topping. Mm. This is definitely a keeper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's um, a little bit of upfront work. There's a bunch of <clears throat> chopping and mincing to do to get it ready. But once you have all your ingredients together, this comes together super quickly. Uh, it's definitely a doable weeknight pasta meal. I would even go so far as to call it kid friendly. Yes. As long as they don't see what you're putting in there. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you actually make the recipe. I'm going to link to it in the description box. And um, I think that you should subscribe to Milk Street. It is definitely what's up as far as cooking today goes. We're huge fans. Mm -hmm. If uh, you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you do that. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing that and hit the little bell, ding, 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 that will tell you when there are new videos. Go check out some more cooking videos or even some of our other videos while you're at it. And we will see you again next time. Yes. Let's eat. Mm.